Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Nigeria. This is the most excited Dr. Sola coming to you from Nigeria. So a few weeks ago, I had placed an order to purchase this. This was actually in August. Uh, the shipping agent claimed he, it, he picked it up. And when I paid for a replacement, I got this. But this is not what I am doing this video about today. This is a 30, kilo, this is a 30, 30 kilowatt uh, variable frequency drive. So it's an inverter that I use for water pumps. But this is what I am excited about. Guess what? It is finally here. After how long? The batteries did not come, but this came. So today, we are going to unbox the Solar X Power X1 hybrid, hybrid inverter. So it's the X1 hybrid G4, 5 kilowatts. And now we're going to unbox the mate box. So I'm so excited. Let me see if I can show you around the box first. And then we'll do a quick short video. So um, high performance, user friendly, high quality smartness, whatever that means. I never thought they were high quality dumb, but nice to know. Here's CT meter. A regular meter, a Wi-Fi dongle, and a DC switch all built in. So that's good right now to see. And um, your standard um, wine glass, umbrella, etc. And then it tells you what's in here. So it has your serial number on the outside, which is nice. The X1 G4 hybrid it gives you dimensions and gross weight and um, net weight. So this inverter weighs about 23-24 kg. Um, let me open it and show you what's inside. I'm pretty psyched. So I've opened the box. Well, I didn't, I didn't film the part where I cut it open, but I've opened the box and you could see the inside. So I believe this is the... I'm going to get it as a Wi-Fi dongle. Well, I'll figure out when I open it. But what I like already is how shiny the um, mounting bracket is. You can see it's well, it has fingerprints on it, but it's pretty good quality. It doesn't have fingerprints, it's just dirt marks. You can see it has a mounting bracket to mount the inverter on the wall. Uh, let me see what this is. Oh, it's not the Wi Fi dongle like I thought. But oh, yes, wow. They put the user's manual inside, the, inside something, and then they give us um, uh, connectors. Interesting connector, and then your um, your accessories to mount it on the wall, your warranty registration card, the user's manual, pretty well done, and the user's manual has the um, has a serial number printed on it. So you could tell these guys went to a little bit more expense than what we find from our traditional manufacturers. So I'm pretty psyched here. So let me put this to the side. And then here is Okay, hold let me pause and open this and then come back to it. The user's manual is actually bound. How often do you find something like that? I'm amazed. So note on this, let me see what it says comes with it. Oh, sadly it doesn't tell me on the first few pages what comes inside. Okay, let me refer to this one, quick installation guide. Quick installation guide. It does not tell me what comes here either, so we're going to have to figure it out ourselves. Rounding connections, start inverter. Mm, okay, here we go, packing list. That's what I was looking for. So, one X1 hybrid G4, the bracket which you've seen, waterproof cover, I guess, will be in there. Um, PV pin angle positive and negative. Communication line, we've seen those already. European terminals, not sure we got that. Um, hexagon bolts, I think that might have been. Nope, didn't see that yet. Expansion bolt, gasket, self tapping bolt, we saw those. Battery terminal is optional. Uh, quick installation guide, which we 
card, which is this one. Warranty card, which I showed you earlier. And CT slash pocket Wi-Fi. So let's put this away and then come back to this one. So could you hold this for me, please? Thank you. So come over here. Look in there and just focus on what I'm about to do, okay? So this is the Wi-Fi module. So the Wi-Fi module. I like that little red button. You push it and everything blows up. Um, so lax power. And then here is an anten external antenna for it. Okay, that li little red thing is where we put the antenna. Wow, the antenna is super long compared to what we get from RDA inverters. And then your screws to secure it to the inverter. So now, la pièce de résistance, the inverter itself. Actually, I do speak French, so I'm just faking this weird accent. You know, I watch from cartoons, but I do speak French. So let's pause this and then bring the inverter out. So here it is. Here is the beauty, the Solar X Power um, X1G4 5 kilowatt inverter. So I'm going to bring it out and you would see um well i'll show you the immediate features that i could see displayed on it and then when we install it we'll do a video showing it installed well the first thing i actually notice is the fact that they already have the battery cable in there mind-blowing they have your battery cable that connects to their batteries so they already supplied that we've never seen that with a manufacturer before where the inverter manufacturer supplies you with the cables while well, they supply their own batteries too but this is pretty different we've never seen this before where they're giving you the battery cables as you can see these are high voltage batteries so they're running pretty high voltage compared to your standard batteries and then something else they've also done is they've supplied you with the earth cable they've already put it in all you have to do is just earth it to the battery that i guess they don't want you opening their inverters which makes sense it's IP65, uh, there is no fan, just a huge, okay, let me stop, if I speak too quickly, a huge heat sink, and um, well, as we turn it, we'll look it over, and then I'll tell you what I, my observations are, let me not jump the gun. So here is your on and off, um, here are your, if you want to do upgrade with the PC, with the PC your dongle, your BMS, your CT meter, your CAN connection, your communications, and I have no clue what this is, but in time I'll find out what that is. But what I like is look at that, the battery cable is already in. So let's look at the sides, your standard warning label. Oh, this was shipped for another manufacturer, not for me. We're going to have, have, we're going to, have to have a discussion. This is for the UK manufacturer. So it says, look at all the standard warnings. Let's go to the side of it and take a look. On the side, it tells you, let me see if I turn this correctly. Let's get closer. So, uh, grid connected photovoltaic inverter, X1 hybrid 5.0. Uh, max PV voltage is 600 volts so mppt voltage range 7 to 70 to 550 max pv current is 14 amps for each mppt because there are two uh short sec short short circuit uh current for the mppt 16 16 battery voltage range from 80 to 480 volts max charge discharge current is 30 amps so 30 amps times 80 or times 100 that's what that number is uh, or times whatever the battery voltage is so your normal AC frequency 220, 230, 240, 50, 60 hertz. That's interesting. I could do both. Um, AC max power 5,500. Um, standard output is 5,000 VA. And max AC um, current, I guess, with battery is 4,600. That's a guess. Oh, sorry. Let me rephrase that. Rated off-grid apparent power is 5,000. So you could output the full 5,000. Uh, max AC input is 40 amps. And output 23.9 amps. 
uh, battery type, you could do lithium or leather seed. Uh, temperatures uh, minus 35 to plus 60 degrees C. Uh, protection class IP65. Um, other voltage categories, grid monitoring. Okay, so all the standard stuff. So like power made in China. Da, 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 da. So let's turn it and then take a look at the back of it. And then I'll give you my final commentary and then I would uh, give you my opinion. So here is the back of the inverter. And I must confess, the quality looks good. The quality of the material is super. I am not going to fault this one. Um, there are no fans, unlike what we have with the day here. I have no clue what these bumps are, but I'll find out what they are. Uh, this is where the bracket, this is where the inverter mounts to the bracket that they showed us earlier, or that I showed you earlier. The back is pretty good quality. This is like what you find on your um, very expensive Weber grills. That's the way it looks. Very, very good quality. I'm impressed. You could tell someone took time to think this through before they put it out. So this is it on the Solar X. Um, I must, I will say I'm very, very impressed. Um, the quality is beyond uh, the last two we've sold. Uh, the form factor is pretty attractive. Some thought went to um, them putting this together because as you could see, they're giving you your battery cables labeled with the battery temperature sensors, the earth cables, your positive or your negative, and everything is labeled so you know what's what. Okay. Um, your earth earthing, which we normally have to find the log and find the cable is already provided and is already done from the factory. Your MC4 connections are pretty standard fare. I mean, nothing exceptional to write home about. Uh, these are your battery connections. Hold on, hold on. Okay, maybe I'm getting this wrong. But PV1, PV2 battery. So what? I, what is this? I thought it was battery. Okay, so let me go back. So I got this wrong. So let's go back and see what's there. And then I'll figure what this out. I think it's battery, but I could be wrong. So I think this is for their lithium battery. To communicate with their, this for their lithium battery. This might be for standard lead acid batteries. I'm not sure, but I'll confirm when I read the manual. So let me go read the manual right now. Okay, correction. So this is your AC input your ln p e ln so this is your grid in and grid out it's not your battery so i stand corrected um let's go through this again so here's your can connection your meter your ct meter your communication slash lcd and here here is your battery so here's your battery here's for pv1 and that's for pv2 okay so i got excited I'm still excited, but uh, just to, just to correct this, they provide they, they did the AC connection already for you. So all you have to do is just put it into your um, mid box, and then from the mid box it goes into your house. So that's the correction I'm going to make. So let me go back and uh, look through this. So here is your uh, DC switch. Here are your um, PV1 and PV2 for your two strings. Here is your battery. Right there, battery. Battery, running out of battery, running out of battery. And then um, your Wi Fi dongle, right there. Um, upgrade port to use your laptop to do upgrades if you have to do manual upgrades. Your BMS communication port. Let me see if I could open one and show you what it looks like on the inside. So that's what it looks like. Someone went to a lot of pain to do this stuff, so there must have been some experiences they've had that made them go through all this pain. Your COM, your CT meter, and your CAN connection. And then this one that says uh, POW, Prison of War. I have no clue what that is. So this is my quick summary, uh, my quick unboxing video of the Solar X Power um, 5000 watts or 5 kilowatts G1 uh, sorry generation 4 X1 hybrid inverter 
So I'm pretty psyched. I look forward to installing it and operating it. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're here to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Dr. Sola, out.